Every May, when the competitions enter their crucial phase with intense rounds of matches, the name Real Madrid once again shines brightly, capturing the spotlight. Whenever Los Blancos are doubted, the white-clad Madrid team becomes vibrant and captivating. They fool the perceptions of every expert and fan, even misleading the cold, data-driven computer tasked with analysis. They might even say they defy fate to reach the pinnacle of glory. This special aura or magical quality does not exist in Real Madrid without reason. The dominance of Los Blancos in La Liga is truly remarkable, with virtually no resistance. Their supremacy is also surprising given that Real continually lost players in the early part of the season due to a series of injuries. Yet, with Carlo Ancelotti's clever maneuvers, the Santiago Bernabeu team still knows how to win consistently. The only thing that exists here is a winning spirit. Every standard for victory is raised to a very high level, creating immense pressure. Real Madrid is truly hungry for the two biggest club-level titles they can claim, and La Liga seems to be the first trophy Ancelotti and his players will touch, as no one expects any more surprises in the final stretch of the season. Despite fielding a second-string lineup, Bernabeu's team still achieved a fairly easy win against Real Sociedad. Many thought that focusing on the match against Bayern Munich in the 2023-2024 Champions League semi-final could lead Real Madrid to neglect La Liga with their match at San Sebastian. However, it turns out that Ancelotti's squad shows no signs of letting go. On the contrary, they maintain their high-flying form with a 1-0 win, demonstrating maximum focus. Real always strives to maintain a high level of discipline, professionalism, and ambition. I'm very proud of the players because they've shown a great attitude and desire to win, said the Italian coach after Real's 26th La Liga victory in the 2023-2024 season. Real Madrid has left their direct rivals Barcelona behind after the 3-2 win. But Ancelotti shows no signs of complacency as they continue to play with determination against every opponent they face. Additionally, Real's remaining opponents include the likes of Granada or Alaves none of which are particularly challenging. Winning seems entirely plausible. Ancelotti's Real Madrid has extended their unbeaten streak to 27 games in La Liga since losing to Atletico in the Madrid Derby back in September 2023, matching the club's second best record in a single season, equal to the 1968-1969 and 1988-1989 seasons. This means Los Blancos need just one more match without a loss to equal the 28-game unbeaten record set in the 1989-1990 season and two more to surpass it. In all those seasons, Real Madrid won the championship, and there's another record of 30 consecutive unbeaten matches from the end of the 1987-1988 season to the first 28 games of the 1988-1989 season. Across all competitions, Ancelotti's Real has lost just two games, both to Atletico away. If they don't lose any more, this will be the season with the fewest defeats across all competitions since the 1931-1932 season, which had only 20 National League games, while this time there could be up to 55 games. Such convincing form and their desire to break their own records are why Real Madrid won't underestimate any game. Having reached the Champions League semifinals 12 times in the last 14 seasons, with a total of 33 times in the history of the European Club Championship, this record is a testament to Real Madrid's unmatched strength. The victory at the Etihad was even more significant as Real defeated the previous season's champions. Above all, Real Madrid won on the ground of the team that defeated them last season. For Carlo Ancelotti, Real Madrid's resilience and survival instincts in this competition are crucial factors contributing to their success in recent years. No matter who stands in their way, Real will find a way to overcome them and march towards their 15th European title. The next Champions League trophy is something Los Blancos truly yearn for, having reached the semi-finals with great momentum after defeating the reigning champions Manchester City. The next obstacle they face is Bayern Munich. They're strong, but they're not invincible. We want to reach Wembley, where the final will be played, and win there. We're ready. We're confident that beating Arsenal is the most important thing now. The next step is to face Real Madrid, and we want to compete and reach Wembley. We must do that. The entire team will be fully focused on tomorrow's game 
and prepare thoroughly. When asked about his past encounters with Real Madrid, Tuchel shared, I faced Real Madrid twice with Chelsea and also with PSG and Dortmund. The biggest difference since the last time with Chelsea is Karim Benzema. He became the focal point at that time. However, Real Madrid has adjusted to Benzema's departure with changes in their system, although their general approach to the game remains similar. But how they play has changed with the arrival of Jude Bellingham. We need to find a good balance against them. Thomas Tuchel has brought the required confidence of a world-class strategist. Indeed, this confidence is grounded in reality as Bayern Munich can fully focus on their Champions League matches, the only competition they have a chance to win. Therefore, the German coach gives everything he has to his Spanish opponents. However, Real Madrid has never feared anyone in this competition. Looking at their head-to-head -head history, the German and Spanish teams have faced each other 34 times, with 26 official matches, all in the C1 or Champions League, and eight summer friendlies. It's a highly balanced rivalry, with Real Madrid winning 12 times, Bayern winning 11 times, and four draws. Regardless of the stage, Real Madrid always finds ways to triumph over their rivals. Additionally, in their last two visits to the Allianz Arena, it was the Spanish team that came out on top. Ancelotti has already beaten Thomas Tuchel when the German coach was at Chelsea. This is a solid foundation for his confidence as he prepares for the upcoming first leg encounter. Many people put their faith in Ancelotti, a man who can calm anxieties, compensate for deficiencies, and ultimately prove their decision right. Los Blancos defied all predictions from fans and experts, as they were the most injury-ridden among the top clubs in Europe this season. This is the genius of coach Ancelotti. He always finds the right players for real this season, and they always shine when the team needs it. The Italian strategist rarely complains about his team's injury situation, unlike many other coaches. This season, aside from Jude Bellingham's arrival from Dortmund in the summer, Real has spent conservatively over the past three seasons, mostly focusing on loan deals or low-cost signings. However, the Spanish giants have never shown signs of losing their standing. At the start of the season, Real Madrid suffered long-term injuries to their defense with Courtois, Eder Militao, and David Alaba. At times, Real Madrid had only one available center back, Antonio Rudiger, forcing coach Carlo Ancelotti to shift players to central defense. Furthermore, in the summer, Real Madrid parted ways with their best striker, Karim Benzema. You would think they would bring in a top-tier forward to replace Benzema's role in the attack, but no, Real relied entirely on their existing forwards like Vinicius and Rodrigo. Despite mounting difficulties with Ancelotti's leadership and Jude Bellingham's quick adaptation, Real Madrid overcame challenges and soared through La Liga. They demonstrated the composure of Spain's number one team by defeating direct competitors Barcelona and Girona to secure the La Liga title. Additionally, in the Champions League, Real Madrid showed their prowess as the 14-time UEFA Champions League winners by overcoming tough opponents like RB Leipzig and especially the reigning Champions League winners Manchester City in a tense penalty shootout. Despite facing myriad challenges this season, Real Madrid still demonstrated their resilience and managed to overcome everything. This shows that Real Madrid truly deserves their success this season. The biggest credit must go to coach Carlo Ancelotti. The Italians' strategic skills allowed Real Madrid's players to maximize their abilities to overcome numerous adversities this season. If one were to describe Real Madrid, the only philosophy at Santiago Bernabeu would be striving for victory. Generations of players and fans have set very high standards of dedication, to the point where even the coach of the city rival team, Diego Simeone, had to admit that Los Blancos are currently the strongest club in the world. Real Madrid is the strongest team in the world. They counterattack with great speed and score from midfield because they have a towering striker. That's why they win most of their matches. It's not luck. It's very difficult to win against Real Madrid because they have so many options. That's why they win most of their matches. No one knows when they will lose. It's no coincidence that the Argentine coach gave such compliments to Real Madrid, especially considering their performance in all competitions they participated in this season. If Los Blancos consolidate their strength with two concrete trophies by the end of the season, no one can deny the fact that Real Madrid is currently the strongest team in the world. As previously discussed, the results Real Madrid has displayed on the field are enough to convince any skeptical fan. They defeated the reigning European champions, Man City, 
annihilated Barcelona in all three meetings this season and are 13 points ahead of second place Girona in the La Liga standings. Remember that Real Madrid's strongest team hasn't played together in a single game this season, except for the defeat in the Copa del Rey against their neighbors, Atletico Madrid. They have still marched forward in all competitions they have participated in over the years. There are still occasional criticisms about their true abilities, such as, Real Madrid is just lucky. Los Blancos rode on Cristiano Ronaldo's, or later Karim Benzema's coattails, or President Florentino Perez has backdoor deals with referees. Recently, their victory over Man City wasn't widely recognized due to their somewhat defensive approach, some calling it extreme defense. Of course, as a football viewer, no one wants to watch a slow-paced, boring game with few goals. Watching football for entertainment is the main purpose for most viewers, so this mindset is quite understandable. Unfortunately for them, Real Madrid never places commercial value and expertise on the same scale, simply because they can't be compared. The Spanish giants focus on achievements and titles above all else. This is why President Perez never hesitates to spend money on high-profile signings, which has somewhat become a part of Los Blancos' culture. They spend money to fight for titles, and that cycle continues each year. Now with Jude Bellingham as the first cornerstone of Galacticos 3.0, they promise to bring home even more trophies. Bayern Munich could be a tough opponent, but remember that the second leg will be at the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium, and they will need to give it more than 200% to win, because the logo on their left chest does not allow them to stop, but there is also a small but equally important part. Winning will rebuke the criticisms from haters over the years. When Real Madrid raises the championship trophy, it only reinforces the clear assertion that they are the strongest team in Europe at this moment, and that's the story for today. Don't forget that all the latest developments in the UEFA Champions League will be quickly updated on Football News Channel Network. Thank you for your attention. If you enjoy this program, don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to support the production team. For now, goodbye, and see you in the next episodes.